Dorne is an exotic, beautiful, but deadly country with its own culture and customs. These traditions maesters from the other Seven Kingdoms have called more outrageous than the last. And really, Dornish customs and culture do seem strange to most other areas of Westeros. Some of this is due to the separation Dorne has had from the rest of Westeros. Entering and exiting Dorne by land is protected by two main passages. But even with that separation, their culture would become even more diverse from the rest of Westeros when the Martells joined with the people of the Rhoynar a thousand years before modern A Song of Ice and Fire time. This video is about the queer cultures and customs of Dorne. The biggest difference from the rest of the Seven Kingdoms is without a doubt that in Dorne, men and women are equal. This custom came from when the Rhoynish settled in the southern country. The people of the Rhoyne treated men and women the same, and when Nymeria brought her people and married into House Martell, House Martell upheld these customs. Unlike the rest of Westeros, that has a precedence for male-only heirs, a woman may become the head of the household. Songs of great ladies and princesses are as bountiful as songs and tales of knights and princes in Dorne. This custom of treating women and men the same also seeps into domestic affairs. A man who beats his wife should themselves be beaten in Dorne, regardless of what the wife did to earn the beating. Another big difference between Dorne and the rest of the Seven Kingdoms is how they treat their poor and injured. During a time of famine, the Dornish will give the poor bread and beer. If a man loses a limb in a war, the lord who he fought for when the loss took place must henceforth feed and house him. The rest of Westeros, they're not always too keen on taking care of cripples or feeding the poor in times of need. Dorne is also incredibly sexually liberated. A child born out of wedlock is not a concern to them, especially if the child is born to a paramour, while in the rest of the Seven Kingdoms, holding the name of a bastard is looked down upon, and does affect your life. Many lords and ladies choose paramours for love and lust with no repercussions in Dorne. Homosexuality is also accepted there. When it comes to the matters of love, the Dornish believe you should be able to sleep with anyone. Fashions and food are also unlike the rest of Westeros. Given the hot climate, loose, layered robes are favored, and sometimes seen as a bit more revealing by the rest of the Seven Kingdoms. Their food is also richly spiced, with some food mixed with dragon peppers and drops of snake venom. People say that Dornish food is meant to burn your mouth. Continuing on, the Dornish have their own accent to their speech. Although the salty Dornishmen, those that live on the east coast of Dorne, lost their mother tongue over the centuries, their tongue is how the Dornish speak the common language. They stretch some sounds, roll others, and sometimes lilt in odd places. Some of the other kingdoms find their speech differences charming, and others claim it makes the Dornish incomprehensible. Another interesting difference is how the sandy Dornishmen, the Dornishmen that live out in the deserts away from the mountains or coast, live. They move from desert oasis to desert oasis, traveling across the sands with the help of wells, and raising their children along with their goats and horses. Speaking of horses, an intriguing cultural difference in Dorne is how the sandy Dornishmen treat their horses. The sandy Dornishmen are the chief breeders of the famous sand steeds, considered the most beautiful horses in the Seven Kingdoms. The maesters state that the Dornish love their steeds as much as their own children, and that stabling horses in their own halls is not unheard of in Dorne. So those are some of the strangest, according to the rest of the Seven Kingdoms, customs of Dorne. Come back every Sunday and Wednesday for new Game of Thrones videos, and if you're in Dorne, don't forget to hide your liquor before stabling your horses in your home. Giveaway announcement! The first giveaway is for one of these posters. Unfortunately, this artist only drew three of the Westeros houses, so hopefully you like Lannister, Targaryens, or Starks. If this isn't your style, don't worry, we'll be doing different poster giveaways in the future along with different Game of Thrones related items. This giveaway will go from Sunday, June 28th to Saturday, July 4th. All you have to do to enter is write a comment on any video published between those dates, and on July 6th, I will randomly select a comment and message that person. If you don't want to enter the giveaway but want to leave a comment on a video, don't worry. If I pick you, you can just say you'll pass and I'll pick the next person. This giveaway is international, but I can't provide tracking to any international packages, and international shipping can take anywhere from a week to a month plus. So you may have a long wait if you are an international winner. This giveaway is also for just one poster, so if you win, you just say which house you want, and then in two weeks we'll do another giveaway, and the next person picks which house they want, and so forth until we run out of these posters. So thanks for watching.